gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling and thanks a lot for taking some time to watch the video. Out here on Tabrock Lake today, I'm practicing for the BFL. Actually, I've only got like uh, two hours to practice today because I got a, a, a Bridgeford promotion I got to do, but I just wanted to sort of come down here and look around. And of course I get down here and as soon as I launch the boat, it starts freaking pouring down rain. So got under a dock here for just a little bit here. It's just, it's starting to let up a little bit right now. It was really coming down super hard about 10 minutes ago, but it gives me a chance to talk about the video. I want to talk, what I want to talk about today, guys, is when the times when rain does not help you out of bass fishing. Now, most people equate um, a rainy day, if it's sort of like this, that the fish are really going to be active and biting. And a lot of times that's true, but a lot of it is based upon the water visibility and the water temperature in relationship to how much the rain hurts you or helps you. Now, what I want to talk about is when the rain is a negative. Now, for the most part, rain is a negative anytime that you have water temperatures below 50 degrees or if you have extremely dirty water. Uh, for whatever reason, if you have those, those not necessarily combined together, but let's talk about the two separate. If you have a lake that has any regardless of the water clarity, even like here on Tabor Rock Lake where I'm on the lower end of the lake here where it's pretty clear. Um, if you have rain and it's really cold out, that doesn't really do a whole lot to, to help the fishing out. If you have water temperature in the 40s, cold water, or even in the low 50s, a lot of times those fish want a little bit more light penetration. There's just, there's something about the uh, increased penetration where they can see better, makes them feed better in, in correlation with that water temperature. But I, I normally like a little bit brighter day if the water temperatures are, you know, cold. It just seems like the rain does not, you know, it just doesn't help out that much. Now, it's a little, a lot of it has to do also with the intensity of the rain. If you have like a misty rain where it's just barely, you know, touching the surface, that can be okay. But if you've got like a pretty steady rain like we have right now, normally that's not going to be a positive with that. Now, once those water temperatures start creeping up in the, in the mid 50s then everything begins to change those fish are moving a little bit shallower and the rain becomes a, a huge asset anytime that water temperature is over 55 degrees now in dirty water it's the same thing if you've got a dirty water lake say the water visibility where you're fishing is 12 inches or less um, rain does not really help you out much any at all i mean it, it maybe can if the water's super hot just a little bit but for the most part, if you're fishing a dirty water lake, I like, I like some brighter conditions, even, even in the late spring and summer and fall, because what happens is if you're fishing a dirty water lake, shade becomes more important than the low light conditions that you get with overcast and rain. It's like the shade will position the fish in certain areas. Um, a lot of times they, they just, they can see better with the siltation and sediment in the water. So rain is not really I haven't found rain and dirty water to be that good of a combination regardless of the water temperature. Um, another thing that I'll talk about briefly here about just a little tidbit of rain and we talked about this on the fishing teacher video also. Oh, by the way guys, if you haven't had a chance, um, I'd like to invite everybody to subscribe to my new channel, The Fishing Teacher. Um, I'll put the link in the description. That's a channel I created for sort of like beginning anglers that don't know much about fishing. So. If you guys would like to support the channel and subscribe with that, that'd be good. But anyway, I, I briefly touched on that, is if you get a, say if say some type of a weather pattern comes in where it's, it's raining on and off for like a week, that is not good for anything. I found out in most of my fishing that if you got like over like three days in a row where it's raining, those fish turn off a little bit and they don't chase and they're not near as active as they were like the first day of that cloud or that rain. So a lot of times what you can do is if it's been raining all week long, you have to sort of go the opposite direction and slow down, fish on the bottom, don't fish those moving baits like you, you would when that rain first came through. But anyway, it's just, like I said, bass, they react to different weather conditions differently. There's so many variables involved in it. It's water clarity, it's water temperature, it's the water tin, it's the type of lake you're on, it's the species of bass you're fishing for, it's the time of day. There's just a ton of variables to determine how weather affects fish, but this is just one of them I wanted to pass along. So anyway, I'm gonna get out here, try to fish for a couple hours, and um, I got my full practice starting tomorrow and Friday. I'll give you guys a report every day off the water, so we'll see. You.